So uh, I think you know we've been hearing a lot of words uh, for the last couple of, or at least for two years now. We're talking about applications, apps. We're talking about IoT. We're talking about uh, you know smart cities now. I would like to say one thing that all these words and the technologies which are going to go behind all these initiatives which are uh, could be a cumulative or a standalone uh, uh, initiatives they are like you know a part of your human body you know you know if you say app is a brain you know i the, some of the other stuffs on the smart city is your heart but let me tell you the communication part which people like us at airtel or being fair to our industry peers people other telcos we are the oxygen providers because no matter how strong or how uh, you know vibrant or how powerful your application is how uh, sturdy or you know your processes in those de designing those application or the process flows are but if your communication channel is not able to help you transmit the data your software is as good as zero so the importance of a, a strong and a robust communication channel is I think like a highway. You know, you need to have a very strong road. You cannot drive a Ferrari or, or, a, or a large truck on a, on a car track. So, so and, and there are times when you actually need a car track, okay, because you will not be able to run in, a, in, in, a, in an urban environment a, a horse cart on a, car, on, on a highway. So people like us, the technology, the, who work with the, with the various players in the market, you know, whether you have a connectivity which is a terrestrial connectivity in terms of fiber or copper, you have an RF connectivity, you have a VSAT connectivity, and above all, which is going to play a very, very critical role is your mobile connectivity. Because if you want, if we are moving towards an application world and we're looking at a smarter world, most of the communication is going to happen on the mobile network. And that is a communication platform which is the oxygen, which, which is going to get you know, power. In fact, today, you know, I'm sure all of you would be, or many of you, I would say, they'll take the liberty of saying would be our customers at this point of time. But what you, as individuals, might not know, as a, of course, as industry, and some of you are also our customers from the industry perspective, as well as partners, but a lot of government e-governance programs, some, a lot of these applications are even today powered by, uh, by Airtel. You know, for example, your Delhi Police e-chalan e system, we are doing APDRP in seven states where we are providing connectivity over you know, a combination of various forms of connectivity. And to give you a perspective, you know, we talk about 3G and 4G. A Delhi police, 1,200 handheld devices, which is cutting the chalans of the traffic police, they have done away with the form, manual form of chalan almost about two years back now. That is running only on a 2G connectivity. There's no 3G out there because the application developed is so thin, it does not require. Whereas if I look at a case of an APDRP of a particular state where, you, where we are connected about 1,100 sites, it's a combination of copper, it's a combination of fiber, it's a combination of VSAT, and a mobile, which is a 3G as a last mile, to deliver a seamless network coming onto a single MPLS cloud. So unfortunately, you know, communication pattern or the communication arm is slightly underlooked at this point of time, but that is the arm which plays the role of an oxygen, and we are very, very closely working with all the states, and let me make a very, uh, I don't want to be arrogant, but this comes naturally. As a largest telco in the country and third largest in the world, we, we will be a part of any of these e-governance and uh, smart city initiatives. We, cannot, we will not be ignored, and we would want to be a part and parcel of whatever is happening in this field. In fact, we have taken a position of a pseudo system integrator where we have gone beyond the role of a, a communication or a, a telco and some of the applications which we have in-house, for example, Delhi Police, which we are doing it totally on our own. We are doing something in health in MP. We are doing uh, uh, Bangalore City and Karnataka State Chalan. We are doing uh, ITMS project in Kerala. So these are some of the applications we have developed an ecosystem. But yes, we will never get into, or at least at this point of time, we don't have any plans to get into a, an application development or an ERP rollout kind of this thing. So there we would always want to work as partners or collaborators out there.